Callie is our only daughter. She was diagnosed with juvenile diabetes at the age of one. So she's had it for nine years now. We thought about how is that gonna affect um, our daily activities? What do we need to do different? She has to have a routine, breakfast at the same time, lunch and dinner, and then she has to have a snack. The misconception of diabetes is that people think it's the overtake in sugar, and that's not actually true. Uh, it's more intake with your carbs that you eat. We have to be very conscious of her carb intake. We try to balance it from the day to day. Her having diabetes really, it's a hard thing to deal with, but we look at her and, and we're very proud because she really handles herself very well. Callie does everything. She loves to play outside. She loves to play with her dog. She's just full of energy, very energetic. The Children's Hospital of Richmond at VCU have been lifesavers. Callie has been receiving care from them from day one. Callie's current doctor is Dr. Penn, and we've been seeing her for the last five years. She is a stupendous doctor, and she's very, very good at making sure that Callie's receiving everything she needs to make sure that her diabetes is taken care of. I chose pediatric endocrinology because I have type 1 diabetes, and that's what made me interested in medicine. I wouldn't want anyone else to be my doctor because she's very good, and she's very good at the experience, and we both can experience it because she has diabetes too. So we both go through the kind of like the same thing, except she's grown and I'm a little kid. At Children's Hospital of Richmond, we have an um, entire clinic that's dedicated to type 1 diabetes. Um, we also do a lot of education for the community. Um, we have a teen support group for diabetes, and we participate in a camp for young children with diabetes. The great thing about camp is that the kids get to interact and, and be around other kids their age that also have diabetes. Uh, and, and see that there are other kids that are dealing with the same issues that they do. Uh, they also are learning and, and learning from educators and nurses to take on new responsibilities. It's always challenging with managing children's diabetes because you need to incorporate their schedules and their schedules are never the same. Um, and also their eating habits. So kids don't like to eat the same things all the time and don't want to be on a schedule. She's focused on school and friends and doing all the fun things that, that she enjoys on a daily basis. So we really have to think about and, and incorporate blood sugar checks and injections and carb counting, all of those things, we have to really work them into her daily life. Callie has an insulin pump and it really allows her to have freedom to be a kid. Um, it allows her to take insulin frequently without having to use injections um, to eat on a normal schedule um, or an abnormal schedule. Diabetes doesn't mean that you're going to be sick. You can still be healthy and do all the things that you imagined your child was going to do. In the future, I see Callie being very successful. With her uh, energy and her uh, love for life, I think Callie will go very far. <laughs>